All right, welcome to Miller and Drixie's pod, baby. We are in double digits, Jake. I know. Number should, 10, we man. Be, we should be at like 100 by now. 100? Yeah. That'd be... Be aggressive. That would be aggressive. We I'd be like, quit our full time job. We, we were like, we were like heavy, 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 and then we got like busy summer, dog days of summer, man. And then yeah, sickness and health. Yeah, and, yeah. sickness and health till death do us part. Yes, <laughs> I love that. Married to the game, baby. <laughs> it is. No. Uh, I. It's the open week. Yes. You know what. You know, the open week and the way that I've been taking, I've got Lyme's disease, right? And just been binging the peaky fucking blinders. <laughs> and now we got the open. Yeah. I should be over there right now. Yeah. I'd be wearing one of those fedoras with razors in it. I do want to go. You got to watch that show. It would be fun to go to Scotland. That would be fun. Yeah. Um, kind of a somber start for Woods this morning. Dude, we just as we were waiting for the door to get open for us to record this numbiness, we uh, witnessed Tiger double the first hole. It's over. Double. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> like literally. If he doesn't go birdie birdie and get back in this thing. Cause what Cam Young is eight under yep. today. Yep. That's pretty fucking good. That is really good. And he could have been. I, I watched a lot of his round, and he probably could have been 11 under. So what time did he tee off? I don't remember. Two, three o'clock in the morning, our time. Really? The guy hit 18 of 18 greens, which wow, it's probably easier to do there because they're so big. Yeah. So that's not like telling the whole story, but he, <laughs> I think he three-putted for a par, I think he may it missed a couple short birdie putts or shorter, you know, within inside twenty feet. Wow! <clears throat> I mean, I think he could have uh, have a day. Oh yeah, like he could have went even lower. Whew! So rookie, really? Yep. He did really good at the Masters too. I had him on my board. Really? Yeah, he he was in there in the top five for, for a while. Wow! Yeah, he's a good player. Did, did you know where he went to college or what is it? Uh, Wake, was? Wake Forest. Wake Forest. Yep. So is he from? No idea. He's or, from the U.S. He is from the U.S. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Well, U.S. Big boy. dude hits it a long ways. Really? Yeah. I saw this kid um, out of I think Oklahoma last year at the 3M Open. I think his name was Quinn something. That dude hit it. Hum, hummed it. A long way. That's good. And I didn't really know who he was, but I looked at his career, and he had pretty good, pretty good uh, NCAA career. I tell you that. Did he win some tournaments? Yeah, and he was he's just fun to watch. I mean, had no fear where he was hitting the driver, like on twelve at TBC. So three M Open's coming. Yep. Right. This is our last day that the course is open. The three M Open Championship is coming um, to TBC Twin Cities. Gonna be a lot of fun if you don't have your tickets. Scoop them up. It's a lot. Uh, it's a lot of fun there. They have a lot of amenities, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, the visibility of that tournament on that course is just superb. Um, we met you there last year. Yeah, Avery and I. Yeah, we did. It's a it's a fun little thing. But on twelve there, you know, hit it's that par five. Usually, if you play up, you're not hitting a driver. Now they're playing back. Even when you play back, I don't know if you really need to hit a driver there. You know, you kind of just want to get it to the top of the hill, and then yeah. you have kind of a downhill second shot but this dude i'm talking about he hits a driver pipes it over the trees on the left where you're supposed to so you get down that valley yeah i mean i was like it's unbelievable to to take that route in a tournament like that all these guys at the open are just absolutely sending it i mean it helps that the ground is firm and really fast well i see bryson hit a stinging six iron 304 yards or something like that yeah. like he's just a racetrack out there it's yeah, just crazy. It's crazy um but yeah you know you, you think about the the open and 
it's just cool to watch the the like on the on the range stuff you know watch tiger and everybody's coming up to him and you know it's just it just gives you a warm fuzzy feeling then he doubles the first hole but and then i just want to puke in my mouth i know like dude literally probably the easiest hole on the golf course is is the first one yeah i i've just been watching guys hit iron and then have 100 yards in with a flip wedge yeah (laughs) and the dude made a double yeah did you did what? you look at the cast and see what he did? No, I just looked at the score after one. I'm like, because I, I knew he just went off, and I was like, oh, he's not even. He's not one over. Then I was like, oh, maybe he's one under. Maybe he birdied it. Nope. So I'm looking for him. I couldn't find him. Go to two over. Oh, I'm gosh. Like, Are you fucking kidding me? What a that's disappointment. A, that's a tough start. But hopefully. Uh, maybe he turns it around. Maybe he turns around and gets it back. He'll probably start limping after he fucking doubled. Yeah. Got to throw the limp out there. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, his leg does look terrible, and I'm sure it does hurt, but look at John Daly shot one over. Today? hmm John Daly. JD. Just the epitome of athleticism, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story about how I met John Daly? Mm-mm. Okay, so the, back when it was just the, um, the 3M championship, yep. the old guys used to come. Yep. The last year that they came was 2018. Okay, so he was 20, 27, 50. maybe 2017 or something like that. And uh, I knew it was the last one, so I got a I got a flag, and I told one of the cart guys, and I won't name any names because I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but um, I was like, I just want John Daly's signature. I just want to meet him. It's probably the only time I'm going to have the chance to meet him is today. And I wouldn't say stalking is a good word, but we definitely scoped out when he was going to leave his camper. So he parks, he brings his camper, it's RV or whatever, with his his son. That's who he travels with. And uh, we probably get there like an hour before he's going to the range, just kind of like chilling and waiting at the club. And I had guys like on covert for me. One guy comes running up. He's like, John's going, he's going. And I jump in the cart with the other guy that's going to bring me there. And instead of going to the regular range, so there's two sides of the range at TPC. There's the front range that's by like the yeah. chipping green and by the turn yeah, and all that stuff. And then they have a backside. Well, John was going to the backside, and that's like behind the ropes, yep. right? And I was like, oh, man, you know, we, we missed our chance. And he's like, the car guy's like, oh, no, we're going back there. And so he gets past, you know, behind enemy lines. We get all the way down to the other end. JD just gets out of his cart when we're pulling up. And I just get out and I say, you know, Mr. Daly, big fan. At the time, um, I had my was expecting my son. So the wife was massive, right? right? And I'm like, it's his first tournament. You know, we had a sign for John. Like, we made, we did all these things. And he was super cool. He's like, yeah, man, for sure. Come over. And he signed our flag. And we got a picture with him. He was super cool. His caddy, pissed. Really? Oh, yeah. His caddy was like, what, what are you doing back here? I'm like, I just wanted to meet John Daly, man. This is like the only chance I'm ever going to get. Um, That's crazy. But it was short and sweet, but it happened. And it was cool just to just to get that moment. And then we watched. We kind of followed him a little bit. And uh, his son comes out with him. So his son, we would sit there and chat with him a little bit. And, you know, and obviously, respectfully, we're not, you know, following the kid around. But we uh, we'd follow, we followed him through hole number three. And then... Um, once you get off of three, if you go stand on that hill, you can see him come in on three, tee off on that par three, four. Yep. So right after John gets done in his same group, a guy dunks it for a hole in one on four. So I got to see that. That's cool. And then you can see guys coming in on six and then teeing off on seven. So we sat there. John played the rest of the holes, and he comes on seven. And they're playing not all the way back where the new tee box is off of 18 there, which if you go into the 3M open, uh, you'll see that it's – back off of the sixth screen. It's not an easy par four you can show anymore. Me after the open. Yeah, right. Um, but so they were up, but he still drove it to the front of the green. Like, crazy. and it looked like he wasn't even trying. It was just literally. Ching, ching. Well, like, he, oh, he's all right. Like almost touching his left toe with the yeah. club head. Yeah, super cool. That was, <laughs> that was one of my fondest memories, um, being able to, to do that and just having that, experience you know like i said that's a once in a lifetime yeah. if you look at okay how hard it would be to meet tiger woods i think john daly is a pretty pretty close second you know oh, when he was but he, at his prime 
I mean, now you can catch them in a Hooters, though. So yeah, yeah, not, now you can catch them. No, 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 I understand what you're saying. <laughs> it's not that hard. I'm saying <laughs> He's that. fucking stopping on the side of the road, hitting fucking bombs over the freeway to the football field. Yeah, yeah. And, like, you, you're going to find him at a putt-putt course, or, like, the dude is you know, not the, hard to get a hold of now. <laughs> here's the coolest part of the story, though. The way that he signed his name was not traditionally the way he signs it on the flag. Really? So usually he signs it all one line, John Daly. Right. He stacked it when he signed my flag. That's crazy. Yeah. So it was super, super interesting because I looked up, you know, what his signature looks like and stuff. And I haven't seen it stacked like that, mm. you know, so. It Maybe was, it was an imposter. Oh, it was certainly John. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it certainly, I, I don't feel like there's many uh, people making a living impersonating John Daly no. <laughs> out there Jesus in the world. <laughs> So yeah, I'm excited for that. Excited for 3M Open. Excited that they'll open another major. Here we are. Um, I wanted to get into a little bit. So we're doing the draft. Is it on the 30th? 31st. On the 31st, oh, we're doing the draft. And the and if people have been following along, we have our annual golf trip that is finally coming to a head here. Sounds like we just need one one more guy. Two more uh, guys. Two more guys. Okay. Uh, there's two guys that are on the list yeah on the email chain said for sure why i'm in they just haven't paid they just haven't paid yet so we picked up a few guys because a couple guys dropped out with injuries um so it was just kind of a kind of a free for all or like a kind of a cluster fuck to be honest we Uh, have 30 paid 30 paid yeah yeah so it just got a little dicey there because I was like, oh, shit. So we dropped out two because of injury. Yeah. And then another guy dropped out because he didn't have a sitter. Well, he ended up coming back in. Cool. Because he, I personally think at this point it's fear of missing out, you know? Oh, yeah. People are like, oh, yeah, we got to go. Well, it's going to be sweet. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be so fun. So what's the, uh, tell the listeners a little bit about the format and what they're going to be seeing. I mean, I'm sure we're going to videotape some of it and things, but yeah, what's kind of the format of... Um, what we're going to be doing for the weekend and how many rounds is it? And all well, that. Four rounds, uh, fully handicapped. We'll have, so the draft and like meet and greet and, you know, we, we, I think we have like 15 guys set up for that yeah. so far. Um, and if we get actually ha- meet in person, if we get half for that day, I know other people, a lot of people have other obligations and stuff. So it wasn't like a, Hey, we need, this is mandatory. No, it was just like, let's meet up, play golf. And then, uh, we're going to do the draft. Live. So there's two, totally is there two captains? So there's a captain, co-captain. So I was a, the captain last year. Yep. So I just get bumped down to co-captain and I get to pick my captain for the following year. Yeah. So like Kevin is a captain and Matt Rakuski is a captain. And okay. then Keith is the co-captain over on the other Keith doll. So, um, Keith with an I, I'm guessing Keith with an I. Yeah. yeah. And I'm Keith with a Y. Yeah. That's Keith. how you kind of tell us apart. Yeah. Well, he, <laughs> one's Keith. And one's Keith Sweat. That's right. So. <laughs> Keith Sweat. It's Mr. Uh, Stone to you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so so then after this year, obviously, Kevin will become a co-captain, and he gets to pick his captain for next year. Got it. So it's just kind of fun. Cool. So I'll have some input. You know, I know everybody pretty much on the trip, or a lot of the guys. Yeah. You know, so uh, the draft is the 31st, so we'll just do a, since my team won Last year, we get first option of first pick. Got it. So we'll, we're we going to have two buckets. Uh, can you defer? We could defer, but yeah. I don't know if that really makes any sense. Right. Because what we're doing is we're, well, it might, depending on where the, because we're going to do an A and a B. Or not really, let's not call it an A and a B. Let's just say a high and a low. Yeah. Because, um, you know, everybody's, it's a handicapped event. So everybody's equally as important. But wherever those you know, that cutoff for handicaps. So maybe we do defer and take pick two and then the first pick in the B in the bottom of the B. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, don't give away all your strategy here. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just pod. saying, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. Like we, we, Keith and I discussed it yesterday briefly about how we wanted to do it. Cause the only way a snake draft would really work is if you'd go out of the top bucket first Yeah, and then go to the second bucket. You know what I mean? Right. Because a snake draft would be first person can take the first pick or take the next two. Yeah. You know, so I just, it, it, it we couldn't add the, the, the higher handicaps up to the top 
because they were just so in the four thing. rounds is it much like the Ryder Cup style? <clears throat> Are there going to be individual matches? There's going to be individual matches on Sunday. On Sunday, which because then there's there's a bunch of points available. So yeah, Friday it's going to be um, four ball matches. Got it. Um, and then Saturday morning will be four ball matches, and then su- Saturday afternoon things might be a little squirrely. People would be tired. Well, they're going to have to stay in it because it's going to be six 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 format. Suck it up, Buttercup. So that's good, and that's going to be we're going to try and match things up based on matchups, like because it, it, it's not handicapped. That not after, a six six six, yeah. Not the six 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 because doesn't make any sense. How can you? Right. Um. So because there's the modified alternate. Right. Which is fucking cool. Yeah. So for that, the captains are going to have to be really engaged on setting up matches on Friday night, um, for Saturday afternoon. Because there's no handicap, so we're gonna try and get the big matchups. I think what's cool about it too is not like I mean I'm guessing some people know a lot of the guys, but some people don't know no a lot of the I, guys. So you're really just it's a blind draw, kind of you know if you just kind of you know based on it, handicaps. Yeah, but you don't know who the baggers are if you like if you're not you know <sighs> what I mean. I mean if people are posting their scores, you know here, but you, you run into reverse. Stuff too, where guys Horse are beggars, yeah. wanting to see their handicap really low, yeah, and then not being able to perform. No, or they play courses where it's just like, you know, that's why my scores are so low, or yeah. you know, because I play at pretty easy golf courses. I think the thing is playing at easy golf courses that have an, an improper slope rating too. Correct. You know, yep. Um, I think the slope rating, were you know where i play is i think it's just just under par it's like 71.6 or something like that and i think okay. it's, a, it's a par 72 so um i think that's pretty accurate but some pub courses for sure you get those 147s yeah that they're not i mean yeah. it's just not 147 yeah. you know and so guys play there and they just get you know i've seen guys come um two different courses and they're like yeah i play at southern and i'm a handicap through southern and i'm like oh boy yeah, that's yeah. a tough. That's why I started playing everywhere else because I Southern wasn't good for my handicap, but then now I'm playing better. So it's like no matter where I play, yeah, close in proximity to me. Is Valleywood pretty good at their I mean, slope it's, rating? It's or under is it? par, or okay. it's like under. Like, okay. So yeah, if I shoot even, I'm still. So it's not like exploded. No, no, it's okay. it's a it's an easy golf course on the, on a for the for their index. Okay. Right. You know, after the changes they made too, like yeah. taking those trees out and stuff. Well, I'm sure they. Do you think re- it got easier? Um, just a few holes got easier, for yeah. sure. Um, more playable, I think, and yeah. pace of play and all that stuff. Right. Um, but still, though, I mean, the 17s are still a cocksucker. No yeah. matter how you, even they took the trees out long, that just helps so that you can just hit a club straight, and if it goes through the fairway, you can at least make a shot. You know, so that's the one that's right after that par three, right? 17? No, seventeen follows. Uh, oh, is that the seventeen? Is that the dog leg left? left. Yeah, like oh, where you got to hit like an iron. Yeah, iron, iron. Yeah, got it. That one just it's just hard. Yeah, you it's almost impossible to get to the one fifty, unless you hit a perfect draw, high draw. Yeah, with like a two because there's water in there. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to hit a perfect. 220, 230 draw, like right. on the nut, like okay. within a like a ten yard window. What courses are we playing up there? Are we playing both the quarry yeah. and the legends? Quarry and legends, yep. And so, so just alternating back and forth, or we play two and two, or um, I would have to look at the. I don't remember the. Okay. What? But those are the only two courses that correct. we're going to be on. Yep. So what's the other one up there? Fortune Bay is the only other yeah, one. Yeah, but we're that's not a part of Giants Ridge. No, and they're. I, I thought they used to have a package where you could play all three. Uh, maybe. But uh, people on the golf trip have gone to play uh, up at, uh, what you call it, Fortune Bay. And Fortune it's Bay. in not even playable shape. Really? The greens are fucked. Oh, no. Yeah. Just they burnt di- out. Lo- they lost them all. Lost the it. Wow. And that's crazy because it's not even that far away. Well, yeah, but there was <laughs> a year year or two there that Giants Ridge had an issue, too. Really? But they they bounced back pretty well. Um I think these guys have to realize that they probably, with our just strange weather patterns, like heat and cold and tons of snow and whatever, don't ever take it for granted and be lazy. You always have to cover them. 
Oh yeah, hundred percent. And and like either put like and shovel them off. Yeah, that's what Giants Ridge. I heard Giants Ridge did that. They shoveled theirs off early. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, yeah. You don't want that. You, you have don't want to. that ice to sit on that green. Oh no, God, no. Yeah, it'll, it'll just kill them. Yeah. I was playing on Tuesday, and they were they were sanding all the fronts of. Yeah. They weren't sanding the greens, but they are sanding all the runoffs on the fronts. Because if, if you play at TPC and you'll you know see it on TV as well, every part of the front of the green is very tight, and they keep it very tight there. You can putt from down there as well. Yeah. Um, but as we were playing, they just brought the truck around. They were sanding the hell out of it because they're they're kind of getting burnt, you oh. know, just with the dew point and the sun that's been out, and they're they're so tight right there, and that's where all the runoff is. Yeah. You know, so no water they're sitting in there. Turning brown. A little bit, yeah. So, so what are they adding the sand for to retain some moisture? I think so, yeah. And they were doing it on, on every single green. They were sanding the hell out of those front little little points. And then they went around and, you know, fixed the bunkers to make them look presentable. Um, I'm a little nervous about some of the bunkers. These are the these are the things I'm worried about for the 3M Open uh, Championship. And I don't even know. I don't think it's called the 3M Open Championship. It's the 3M Open at TPC. The things that I think you're not going to be able to see on TV that are going to be worrisome for the players is the pitch marks on the greens. They did do a divot party, which was pretty cool. And I'd been telling them for years, I kind of brought it up because I was like, you put a keg on the back of a cart, you're going to get guys out there that will come out and fix ball marks. That's what they're going to do. I think it gets, they're doing a lot better at minimizing public play, but still on Mondays, they have a lot of events on Mondays. And the issue is like when I played on Tuesday, I followed a, a group of, they're younger gentlemen, right? And they were leaving fresh pitch marks, you know? And I did respectfully told them, we got to a hole where we were close enough together. I said, guys, you got to fix your divots. You got to fix them, you know, because I'm on there. And there was one kid that was doing it. The other two weren't. And you could see where the other two were. They were fresh. I mean, yeah. but do you get that a little bit? The greens are so true, though, that it shouldn't bother them too much. But just the visualization, I yep. mean, plus I don't think a lot of people know the actual correct way to fix divots on no. like different types of well, greens. Some, you know, some guys are going to know, but a lot of guys will just poke and then pull up. I know you got to push it to the middle. Yeah. And then you get those brown spots and mm -hmm. all the green. And like I said, on TV, the place is immaculate. I mean, really, they're doing such a great job. We got a new superintendent this year and it seems like he's doing, you know, as good as he can for what he was given. Um, but the green just looks so pure and it's going to look gorgeous on TV. And I'm really excited about that. Um, but I think that's one of the, the flax that we might get there is the ball marks, which may be common. Maybe that's common through all TPCs. Cause I mean, it is a private network one that they're playing at here, but it does get some public play as yeah. well. And then the landing areas, um, on wow. where those guys are going to be hitting it to, uh, it's of, sand based. So yeah. They come back pretty good, but you don't you don't really replace divots there. They finally got us some sand with seed in it on the carts now, and I, that's been Better. working pretty well. Yeah, because the, re the rest of the time, if you try to, it's just going to die. Give you a little scoring update here. Rory, yeah, what do we got? Rory finished minus six. Okay. So he's solo, solo second? Solo second, yeah. Okay. Cam Smith is uh, minus five. Some amateur shot minus four. Wow. Barkley Brown. Um, Lee Westwood, minus four. It's nice. It's awesome. Paul Casey, a bunch of uh, live, golf. live golf guys. There's a couple live golf guys. Yeah, Poulter, minus three. All right. DeChambeau, minus three. Uh-oh. <laughs> live golf, just taking over. Yeah. Um, Shoffley, minus three. Hovland, minus three, with one to play. Um, Hovland will get to four because uh, 18 is drivable. Yeah. So with a three wood. Right. So they'll... Uh, Definitely make a birdie there. Um, let's find Tiger. What has Tiger done? Spieth's off. Spieth is at one under through two. Nice. That's uh, my, that was my at? guy this week. Where's, where's Thomas? Thomas is at... Oh, he must have dropped a shot. Because he was at two. Aren't you... Do you have the app where you can, like, highlight? Yeah, stuff? but... Who Thomas dropped? Dropped two. He's at even. Oh no! Oh, it's not good. Through how many holes? Dustin even. He's almost done. Okay. He's through seventeen. Um, Tiger probably walked off. 
Because I don't see him. Oh, plus three through three. Oh, it's like Miller plan. Yeah. <laughs> plus Jesus three through three. Christ. Dude. Then get it together. What the shit? Yeah, that's how I started the other day. Started really bad. Bogey, bogey in our match. Yeah. Then I turned it on. I birdied four or five. Then you're just crawling back. Yeah, I birdied, yeah, I birdied five. Nice. But we still lost. What do you do? It was, a good, it was a good match. Yeah. But we had controversy, though. Controversy. Yeah, so, so tell me more about that. You kind of told me a little bit about it, but tell the listeners <clears> what happened. This is this I, is your match for the Twin Cities Golf yeah. 2v2. Yep, 2v2 um, match play. Okay. Um, so I'll just set the set the situation. So we're playing with public all around us, you know? Yeah. So Where, What course did you guys play? Valleywood. You played at Valleywood. Yeah, okay. so I just birdied four to get it back to one down for us. Yep. Um, Trevor on five, the dog leg left, short dog leg left. Yep. Kind of just hit a four iron or something out there if you want. Okay. Um, so he hit it out there perfect. He was like 120 in. I was like, oh, I'm hitting driver. Because I hit driver the other day. Or no, I hit five wood the other day and I almost made it to the green. So I was like, I'm hitting driver. Had the wind was perfect. I was hitting a draw. So I was like, I'm definitely hitting driver. Yeah. So I hit driver. Didn't even think about the people on the green. Like, because I've never drove that green or tried ever from yeah. the, from the back tees. Okay. So I was hitting it high and I could hit a high draw up over the trees. Yep. Hit it over the green. Okay. They were on it. So uh, it bounced over the green. The other dude, he hit it right of the green, but pin high. Yeah. <clears throat> so he's in the rough by the bunker. We get up there, they're pissed. And I'm yeah. like, okay. Like, sorry, dude. I I don't usually hit driver here. I didn't even think to, to go look, you know. I, I would have had to have hit a really good drive to get it here. Yeah. And I did. Right. Okay. So they're pissed off. Um, two bird, I think two birdies were made. Trevor made a birdie, I think, or I don't know. We, anyway, uh, next hole, dog leg right, short par four, uh, where you got to like hit it up over the trees or hit a cut. And we all were like, we're all hitting driver because we're playing fucking match play, you know, like yeah. it's 330 to the pin. Right. I've driven it before from the blue tees, not with, I've never done it from the gold. But I was hitting it so good, and the wind was blowing that way. Yeah. So we all hit driver. They're all right a little bit. Not terribly, but they're all punt. I mean, they were punted hard. Yeah. So we're like, oh, the, these are fine. Call it pummeled. Whatever. Yeah. So we get up there, and we check to make sure they weren't on the green when we hit. So they were off. We hit. We get up there. On the cart path were three balls. On the cart path. All in a pile. Huh. Oh, we grabbed your balls. We saw two of them land in here, and the one was going to skid across the tee box, but we stopped it. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, you did what? Because <laughs> the tee box is off to the right of the green just, on six. He used to repeat that. He used to repeat that to me. So we got up to up by the green, Yeah. and we were all right. The, the a playing opponent, apparently his green ball, his yellow ball, that's how they could determine his was at the tee, on the tee box. They stopped it. Okay. The one guy said it would have been behind that bush because it would have rolled over, but they stopped the ball. Right. They stopped it <laughs> from going to where it would go to its final resting spot. They said mine and Trevor's was in the, the fescue yeah. right there. They were like, oh, it was over under that bush somewhere. And they were just so pissed off from the hole before, they basically told us to get fucked. Okay. And so I'm processing this, and I go, well, I mean, we weren't up here to know what happened. So we all have to drop from the same fucking spot. Right? I don't even yeah. know how to. Well, I think that, yeah, you have to take that consensus as the group. So what was the what was the minimum age of the group of guys ahead of you? There was a 50-year-old and then two 25-year-olds. Ah. Uh, yeah. So uh, no, in our group or the one ahead? The one ahead. Yeah. 50 and two 20 to 30-year-olds, I suppose. Stopped the balls. Stopped the balls, all of them. Or like went and got the ones that 
came or went into the fescue apparently. And so they literally, so they I don't literally put them in like a little triangle. Yes. They were just, <laughs> yes, on the car path. So they racked them up. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I go, so, so the, the guys we were playing against determined on their own, which I was not okay with, that he got to hit from the tee box because one of the guys was like, oh, it was on the tee box. It was not. He's the, when we first came up there, he goes, that would have been behind that bush, but we stopped it. Right. Or it would have rolled through, which he would have been in total fucking jail. And the other dude was already out of the hole. Okay. So I hit a really good shot from the fescue to like 12 feet, right? Yep. Had a bender, but I was like, I don't think I could have done any better. Right. Then watch fucking Cheater McCheaterson, who I get to play with again on Saturday in the TCG event with Alex. So we're just going to fucking throttle him. Uh, he hit it to a foot from the... From the tee box. From the tee box. Hit a flop up over a bush. So why? Like to that far. Why? So why wouldn't the consensus be we need it all dropped from the same area? They fought us. No, they told us where to. They told us where they were. Oh. I'm like, dude, I can't take that. And as they're all sitting on this cart path, we all need to drop from the same spot. Right. We don't know. We can't just go off of what some public group that's pissed off at us. Yeah. And what they say. Like, we're like, no, you need to show us where these balls were. Right. And they turned around and flicked us off and drove away. <sighs> I was like. How many more times did you hit into him after I that? I was so mad. None. But I did birdie the next two holes, seven and eight. Ah. To get the match back to square. But I was fucking fuming at oh, that point. Because then I birdied 12 par five yeah they didn't so we were up one and we would have been up two had that not happened oh yeah and then then we just kind of the dude birdied uh 13 that long par three i hit a good shot this is about 15 feet that would be a good time for the serenity prayer yeah dude i needed something i needed to i just cracked a coors light (laughs) <laughs> Some of us don't get that luxury anymore. <laughs> I just was like, dude. I mean, it was a good match and whatever. Just won, but I huh? just I hate losing on controversy. Yeah, you know, Trevor missed a couple five footers that would have really sealed the deal for us. Controversy is it's there's so much testosterone that is pumping in these mm-hmm. matches, and everybody's got to puff their chest and peacock and take control because it's a mental part of the game too, and you, you know. That's what's so difficult about outside interference. It reminds me of, uh, <laughs> if you're watching any of Randy Savage's promos from back in the day, no. <laughs> there's one that he's like, he's like, you only win from outside interference. <laughs> you gotta watch, you gotta look it up on YouTube. He's like, <laughs> does Randy do that? Is he going from the outside? No, no, he's in the ring. Outside interference. Yeah, that's how I lost the belt. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see you. That was what you were feeling like. I was so. The reason why we lost this match was outside interference. Oh, dude. Uh, I mean, I'm glad I was. So, what's the TCG event this weekend? It's just a two man. They're rolling out a bunch of them lately. Two man scramble at Emerald Gold. Nice. At Gold. So, we'll just. I mean, Alex, he's not playing as much golf as he used to. Yeah. Because he actually had to get a job. Where's he flying in from today? uh, Ohio. He was in Ohio for work. Nice. And then he's coming here for, I don't know how long he's here, but we're going to go, we're going to hang out today, hopefully try to squeeze some golf in tomorrow. I've got a dumb appointment at two o'clock, which I'm not really that thrilled about. Not pumped about? No. So hopefully we'll play tomorrow and then we have that event on Saturday, but we're not going to be very generous or very nice to the field. No, I can't imagine that's going to go very well for the other people. <laughs> no, because literally if he's hitting... Holding rough, grudges. If he, well, if he's... <laughs> Well, the the guy who we played the other day is playing with his daughter, who's supposed to be a really good high school player, but yeah, that doesn't matter. Alex hits it like a country mile. Yeah, I w- this this little leprechaun. I'm a little leprechaun. This dude was even more of a little leprechaun, and he oh. was trying to say he was out driving me, and I'm like, dude, I've out driven you on like all these holes. You don't out drive me. 
Because that's why I was so pissed. Because I was like, just, his, his went over the tee box. And I'm like, I absolutely pummeled that. And like, I've obviously hit a tree. He didn't. Come on down to the Napoleon <laughs> tournament. <Dude. laughs> so I've We're got dropping a, drawers. Yeah. Checking scores. Well, dude, I'd played with these guys before. I know I had. Because yeah. I obviously recognized him. So I don't know if it was a TCG event or what, but... They're plus, they're plus handicapped. Ball God, ball. one can only hope that a pot of gold just doesn't land in the center of one of the fairways. Otherwise, <laughs> it's going to be carnage. <laughs> no, we'll be fine. I don't even give a shit what they're doing. Uh, Alex and I will handle business. I mean, we shot 11 under at Willinger's for a two-man scramble. Nice. That's a tough, that's a tough task. Yeah, that's pretty good. Emerald? We'll get that. Yeah. If a little we, easier there. Uh, yeah. Because it'll be dry. And if he's hitting it like he is, it'll be like at the open, like that fucker's going. Is sick. it pretty firm there? It will be. Yeah. Because they're not. The gonna, green's firm there too? Um, They'll firm up, yeah. yeah. They probably have. I haven't played there in a while. Oh, really? Three weeks. It's just such a long jaunt. So let's go back to the trip. Yes. So um, now that we've you totally heard, about, got off heard about the leprechaun battle. Yeah, dude. It was bad. That's good. It's good to get off. It's good to get it off your chest here at the Miller and Drixie <laughs> therapy sessions. It's good not to fester in them things. Yeah, and just let them go. I hate losing. I, I think me and along with all the listeners understand that you don't take losing very well. I don't. I don't. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we were. And you're so humble to, about your wins a, too. According to their handicap, I mean, they were better golfers. Yeah. You know, I. Mine's a point six right now, which is trending upward because I posted, you know, a plus six, plus seven scores, so it should go up. But yeah, <clears throat> um, what's Trev bought at? He's like two, and these guys were both plus plus one and plus point six or something. You two so have to be the whitest team in America, probably. Have to be, probably. <laughs> And he wasn't even hitting his drives like he normally does. He was just kind of slapping it's easy them out there. He just hit that baby cut. He uh, he actually when he's hitting it, he hits that really baby draw, and it's oh. nasty good. Yeah, but he just wasn't there. He's not super swinging free. He doesn't play that much. Yeah. So, um, so golf trip. Um, what did we want to talk about? So we were talking about the format before oh, we went yeah. on this tangent. You said yeah. that. We're doing six six six. There's not going to be any handicaps that day. And then the last day, yeah, what, what's single, happening the sing, last day? Singles. singles, just straight up singles. The the captains will play versus each other, and the co captains. And so, will the night before will they select the pairings, or they yes. select the pairings before the trip? Nope. Uh, pairings will come out for Friday at any time between the draft day and. Friday. Well, no, Friday's matches. And Saturday's we matches. reached out to Patrick Reed and Ian Poulter, and they just they weren't into it. <laughs> no, they didn't want to they come couldn't, cheer no. us on. Well, they couldn't, you know, they don't want to come and, and battle each other out. Now they're both on I'm, live golf. And, as I look through the list of, like, tri- trippers that are paid, yeah, the 30 guys, like, I'm just ready to draft because yeah. it's going to be, it's going to be good battles. Like, really good battles. There's That's some awesome. really good seven handicappers yeah like really fucking good yeah you know what i mean like right. they're not they don't make doubles and they make a lot of pars so yeah. if you're giving them some strokes like you're gonna have to fucking battle, battle. you know what i mean yeah so yep it'll be fun and then you got like six right now and i mean we have a huge range i mean alex i'll have to see what his handicap is now but you know i just put him down as a plus two yeah uh which you know i don't know i will have to wait and see Right. But you have plus two up to a fucking 30 handicap. There's a 30 handicap? <laughs> well, Tim is like, we put him in as a 25. Got it. Um, so I played with a guy. It's a, I played with a guy on Tuesday that I think he's like a 29.8. Just a great guy. You can't break 100. I mean. Yeah. What are you? Or you 30. Yeah. And you'd think. 25. 25 has got to be max or 20. Yeah. Yeah. So he doesn't have an actual handicap. So you're just trying really. to. Yeah. Come up with a, a fair number. I think 25 is a fair number if guy doesn't have a handicap and you know he shoots at 100. He can, if you he can make two or three pars around. Yeah. And the rest are double or bo- bogey double. Triple. Oh, yeah. I think 25 is good. Yeah. I think 25, you're making four to five pars around and everything else is high maxes or something. Probably like, 25 is going to be the. Like if, if he gets on my team, 
I, me as a co-captain, I have to make sure that he's playing with someone that can coach him around the golf course because he, you know, like we'll just make bad shots. I mean, a lot of the, I suppose a lot of the guys that are higher it's handicaps, just you decisions. just have, they make bad decisions. They're a, they're alignment. They're yeah. everything. Like you just have to like, nope, aim more left. I think the biggest thing I've seen with high handicappers that don't hit it as far is their club selection from roughs. You know, mm-hmm. you're not going to hit a lot. You don't hit a lot of fairways. Mm-hmm. You're that. And if you do, you're a long ways away. But if let's say you don't make it to the fairway, for instance, or you're in the rough to the right and you're in thicker rough, you know, these guys that are higher handicappers don't hit it as far. Someone will carry like a seven wood or something. They're trying to hit that out of the rough. And it's like, you could swing a lot less aggressively and take more club and just and just go with an iron mm-hmm. you know even out of some of these oh, rough spots sure. it's gonna go the same the same distance or a little bit longer you know i play with some guys that take some on a 380 yard or 400 yard par four it takes them three shots to get there well you have like guys that i i get it you want to hit driver and that's fine yeah um but like some of the selections up by the green even you know like yeah or or even let's say you do hit a good drive and you're a hundred out and you're trying to hit a freaking, uh, you know, a wedge or like a, a sand wedge. Right. Like I don't love that for a high handicap because the, the, the air that there's a lot of air that can happen with that leading edge. Yeah. Um, and if your hands aren't good enough and like your just swing is just not good enough, you can easily blade it. You can easily fat it. Like just take a fucking nine iron and just three quarter, punch it like put it back in your stance and just punch it up by the green well i did i rarely myself ever hit full wedges no it's just i mean if i'm 100 yards and or in it's always low trajectory yeah one one yeah but i we can do that we can control the trajectory with a 54 or a 50 50, yeah so but they they can't yeah it's a little bit different so yeah, but but it's just over. It's a it's a symptom. That sounds like a good range of guys. What do you think the like the average handicap is for the whole trip though? Oh, 10? yeah, probably 10, 8, 10. Well, that's a, that's a fun time. I mean, we got a, a, quite a few lower handicaps. Yeah, you know, like and and I'd say that between six and fourteen is that kind of like that. That's where it's packed up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it'll be fun. Like I. Do, I just got to look through the list and look at handicaps or try to get everybody's updated stuff so that, and let me just back up. I love doing this cause it's like super fun, but it's like hurting fucking cattle. You know, like I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to send this email out to say, okay, I want everybody's hand, gins or grint or whatever the hell it's called. I want your screenshots of all your scores. Yeah. Cause Keith needs it for scoring Keith with an eye. Right. Cause Mulligan Mulligan's golf is, sponsoring the trip yep and uh you know giving us a huge break on on scoring We're gonna get those bastards in here yeah i know so uh mulligan's golf uh they do a lot of the scoring help for kevin mm-hmm. um and so it's nice to have them yeah uh because I, last year was a clusterfuck because they didn't have what's the what's the scoring app golf genius they have golf genius now no live scoring, which I'm going to have to talk to Kevin about for being so cheap because we're using Kevin's Golf Genius. Yeah. Um, super awesome to have because it just it prints scorecards at, yeah. with all the dinks, and like, which is amazing because last year it was a cluster at Dakota Ridge because I had to like hurry up and quick do the scorecards before the match, you right. know, which we probably need to bring a computer with a printer. Because so you say this, is it two full rounds on Saturday or is it nine nine? No, it's two full rounds on Saturday. So Got bring it. your uh, back massager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't me know, too. I don't I'm, know if she'll fit in the in the luggage, but yeah. Well, you better bring your Theragun <laughs> or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, it's gonna be fun. Like, it, like I think I've talked about it before. I was on a golf trip before, and you know, these guys just some of them were prima donnas and like didn't want me there because a, I liked the comp competition of it yeah. and they didn't like me, me being competitive. Um, and some of our personalities didn't work, yeah. but I wasn't friends with them really outside of the golf trip. Right. I was with some, but some not. 
and they collectively like booted me because they turned it into family vacation after the golf and they wanted to keep it at 16 guys, which is, I think, stupid. I yeah. remember one year we had 24 mm-hmm. and it was a fucking blast because then you're not just so it's not I don't understand so int- how you can't intimate. bring competition into it. I don't know. My brain just doesn't work that way. Like even when I go out and I play with random people, there's a part of me that's like, can we just get some sort of game? Like, I don't care if it's for a dollar. Yeah. Like just a beer, just something pop, a bubbly water burger. Uh Aha. Yeah. So anyway, so I was like, I can do this so much better. I'd been going on this trip for 10 years. Yeah. Like I want to meet new people because these guys are kind of assholes or like some, not all of them, but some of them were assholes to me. Like they're kind of like the mean girls. I told the one guy when he booted me, I'm like, you're a fucking mean girl. Like, yeah. I don't want to be like that. I want to include everyone. Yeah. Grow it to whatever. I don't give a fuck if it's 60 guys. Yeah. You know, high, high like, brow, high brow shit. Like, it'll be cool. Like, yeah, we could get, you know, some prizes, donate it, just whatever. Like, it's, we got to go to that pizza shop in Bawabic. Well, we're not, though. We got but food. We should. I know, but we, we, I'm getting all the food for the whole thing. Like, okay. there's no reason to. That's true. Like it's all included in the price. And, you know, I got some feedback from some guys that this is an expensive trip and I broke it down and I'm like, it's really not. No. Um, half the guys are going to get their a hundred dollars back right off the jump. Right. You know, if your team wins 16 guys gets their hundred bucks back. So it's $600 for this trip. Yeah. And you're fed and I'm buying beer and we get scoring. Everything's yeah. like you show up and it's like a fucking it's event. Done. Yeah. It's an event, dude. Right. Like, well, I'm not asking for any money. I'm doing right. it. I, I got to do some of the extra stuff like grocery shop and beer, you know, get the beer and pop and water and whatever. Yeah. Haul some shit up. No big deal. Don't care. Cause I want to grow it into something fun and right. I want to meet new people. And so, cause I don't go to the bars really. I don't, I'm not in any social functions. I play golf, go to the hockey rink with my kids and, and, and I think we go to the yeah, cabin. I think so it's expensive. Like, you know, if you say something's expensive, it's like relative. So in my line of work, if I present an estimate to somebody and I just said, okay, this is what the number is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not telling you what it all includes. So when I first tell somebody the number, it's like that. Oh, wow. But then I go, but here's what it all includes. And you go line item by line item to explain yeah. what is all in there. Then you're getting value in that. Oh, for sure. So when you talk about what's all included, it's like, yeah, but break it down, man. Yeah. I mean, there's the prize money, there's the food, there's the four, you know, four days of golf, four rounds of golf, whatever. Lodging. There's the lodging. There's, you know, all those things. If you think this is an expensive trip, you're out of your mind. Well, like, you're just out of your element like i guess not out of your mind you're right so more like you it, you, you shouldn't go because you the, don't have the money or you don't have the um uh it's, like the, the, it's not even a lot but you don't have the um what do they call it uh the where for all to understand that the breakdown of it well, that, or maybe you haven't been on enough golf trips to realize that what an expensive golf trip is too well you just don't have the disposable 700 dollars. yeah like you you just are i don't want people to like not pay their mortgage to go on this golf trip like, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and that's not the kind of guys that I want to go. Right. I mean, unfortunately. Like, because ha- I've been having this problem with, like... You don't want resentments either. No. God, no. Yeah. And I, and, I, and I feel like a nagging housewife. Yeah. Every time I send an email saying, dude, pay the fucking deposit. Yeah. Because everything runs smoothly when everything's done. Right. Once I have all 32 guys paid... Then I have to not only do it, I mean, that was hard enough, but now I got to ask for more money after the draft. I've got to ask for everyone to send me Venmo or get cash to me before that first tee time. Right. And I'm not going to accept very much cash because then I have to take my Venmo or, you know, I, I, because I'm paying out everything. I want to pay out everything on Venmo. Right. Because it's such a pain in the ass to find carry around a fucking envelope full of money. Yeah. Here you go. Here's your 10 bucks. Here's your 10 bucks. Yeah. Nope. Venmo. Just go down the line. Boom, 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 boom. I like when boom, you hand boom, out boom, money, boom, boom, your, boom, boom. your voice changes. I don't like handing money. Out. Oh, I'm going to win it. All. <laughs> Here's your money. <laughs> no, but last year, dude, so we were at hey, the casino. Hey, we were, I guess we're at Dakota Ridge. So yeah. when we get back and we're doing scoring, 
and figuring out who won skins, this, that, and the other thing. Fucking, there's not a player in sight. Jake's put it they're, all on black. No, they're, <laughs> no, they're all in the casino, dude. And so I'm like, I'm carrying around this wad of money, and I'm like, I don't want to do this. Like, that's where the tough. Here's what, <laughs> people here's don't understand. Scenario. No, dude, I'm pissed because people yeah. don't understand. Like, I, you have. How do you not you have send Venmo? Out a mass text. Get Venmo. Yeah, you send out a mass text, and you say, "Listen, we could either give out the prize money." To everyone, or we put it all in black and let it ride. <laughs> and <then> it. It. <laughs> it was just, it was just so much money like out on the table and like just You're divvying it all too, up and too, stuff. Too much. Yeah. So when I send out the Venmo request, don't be a dickwad and not send it until like because I, I'll tell you what, I've already made the decision that no one is teeing off on my tea times without paying that one hundred thirty dollars prize pool. Right. Nobody. We'll bring people in from the clubhouse. Or like, you got thirty bucks, come play. Or I mean, or well, it's one hundred thirty. Yeah. So like, just please, guys, do me a favor. Get a Venmo account and send me the goddamn one hundred thirty bucks <laughs> when I ask for it. It's not due until like I I'd like a couple like a week before the trip because I'm obviously using some of those funds for food, beer. Well, you got to send out thirty requests, dude. Thirty one. Yeah. So I'm not saying it needs to be done now, but please, between August 1 and August 12th, please. Please get it done. Get it done. Because <laughs> I just don't want to be begging. I just, I hate asking. Like, you we're all like, a, we're feel all like all of her out there. <laughs> it's like I'm you know, talking. Have some more. It's honestly like I'm talking to my kids sometimes. Like asking over and over and over and over. And here's and, it's and micromanaging. I'm not mad, and I'm not, You're mad. not mad, but micromanaging is the resentment of all resentments when it comes to golf trips. Is if you have to micromanage, Whoa. it's just very difficult. I love this. I love planning and I'm good at it. And I yeah. you know, I've done this a bunch, but it just it just makes it very hard for me because but it's always gonna happen. I know. That's I know. That's the tough part. And so, you kinda gotta just sometimes you gotta let bygones be bygones and it's always going to happen to last minute and doesn't matter yeah. how pristine you think a golf trip's going to go things can go wrong and this yeah. and that i mean there's going to be a huge there's going to be a huge um push next year like there's going to be a lot of people that want to hop on board yeah so unfortunately i'm going to have to cut it like there's going to be an absolute deadline deadline yeah like n it's not even negotiable right like if you don't hit the deadline you don't go right if we tr if it trims the trip to 24 guys well sorry this is what it is this yeah. is what it is but uh, it'll be like register with me send me the venmo once you're registered by deadline of the 25th of may yeah or actually probably has to be way before that it's gonna have to be april i feel like we're getting a lot of people are saying we want to go. Yeah. Like we they just didn't have a, uh, they had their calendar plan for the year. Now it's always going to be the third. Well, plus it was also planned before we started the podcast. For sure. You it's know. the third weekend of August. Always, always, always. That's the one that I've always been on for the last 13 years. Not going to change because it is statistically the best weather weekend in Minnesota. Yeah. So let's talk about um, something that's, pretty important and i need help planning it hmm. it is my golden birthday this year oh wow it's my wife's 40th i turn 31 on the 31st nice you're young where should we go to on what day i think it's like a wednesday well, it's no, not the 31st august 31st august i turn 31 yeah and i think i want to go to either i want to go back and play tpc stonebrain in Hay hayward california was one of the greatest courses ever played. They want to do that and then stay at like Half Moon Bay and play Half Moon Bay and do all that stuff. You, you lost me on a golf trip, dude. I'm not going golf trip, golf trip. I'll go golf trip like Cabo. I've never, and I don't have a passport. Well, you better get one. Because actually, I, we're, I, she doesn't listen to this shit anyways, but I, her 40th, I'm going to probably get a group. Do something cool. Do Cabo or something. Mm-hmm. We stayed in a penthouse down so you there. Say it I need it. Nasty, so fun. But it's like if you get a group to stay together, you can do a penthouse because it's four or five bedrooms, and it's cheaper than actually getting individual rooms. So I need to get a passport. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you want to go? I mean, you have yeah. to bring a guest. Uh, 
you know, try to probably figure work on that. Probably figure something out. It's going down. <laughs> I'm yelling Tinder. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Love that. That's the worst or, thing. Did, there's a, no, think. dude, there's like a, a golf dating app, isn't there? I don't need any of that. I'm just fine. <laughs> I'm just fine with what I'm doing. And I'm so funny. I, I'm, I'm happier than ever. Good. Getting Stand over Lyme way. disease. Yeah. No, Back's I did that feeling too. better. Yep. That's so, a pain in the ass. Golf trip. So, if you feel oristes, what? If you feel oristes, I don't know what that means. I mean, it's what time is it? What time is it? Mm -hmm. Like time? Ten nineteen. We should probably be done. It's ten nineteen. Mm -hmm. Got to be going for an hour or something. Yeah. Wait, let's do before we wrap it up. What is the update at, of the open? What's what? Oh, update? update on the open. Oh, let's see. I'm sure nothing changed at the top. Well, no, I'm not thinking anything changed at the top, but I want to know where Tiger's at. Dude, it's not going to be good. Plus four. Is he really? Well, nothing changed. So, yeah, he's still plus four. Or, it's not still. He was three, now he's four. Four through four. Wow. Keeps bogeying holes. Oh, no. Can't, can't get it together, dude. Oh, no. That's bad. He ain't going to make it. Um, nothing at the top. Those are good scores because the wind started blowing. Um, so let's see. If we could all just put our minds together, positive thinking that Tiger Woods makes a cut at the open. He's not. Let's all, right. all have positive thinking that Tiger Woods makes a cut at the open. Do you want to bet? I don't want to bet. I want us to have positive thoughts. Okay. Um, so moving on from Tiger. Uh, we got to plan our next match. Yes, match number two. Garrett's having a kid, so like we're running out of time. Oh God, he is having a kid. Um, and then we'll do in well. What month is it right now? It's July. Fuck. We got to do it like now. He's like, and he's gone like weekends, so we've got to do it on some weekday. Let's do it like next week or something. Yep. And then um, we need to do after the the open. Obviously, we need to do the TBC thing. Yes. So after the three M open. Uh, Kurt Schley and Carl Wicking. Did Carl even respond? Or? I haven't seen Carl's resp response we yet. We better reach out to we Carl. We better reach out to Carl. Let and him see know what he won. But that, I think we should do that like the first week of August when we're back. Of mm -hmm. um, course, we'll be back open the Monday after the tournament. I think they usually do like the tips challenge on the, on that Tuesday, Okay. which I always play in. I love to play in that. Love it. Do play my best golf that day of the whole year. Why? I don't know. Play so good from the back tees there. Hmm. So good. Just ridiculous. Because you can just swing. As much as I want, yeah. Um, so anyway, so I think we'll do that first week of August. Uh, Kurt Schley and Carl Wecking. Um, and then we need to do the match like next next week, match number two, the next couple weeks. Mm -hmm. um, I do have reciprocity at some places while the tournament's going on. So we could potentially play. I have a list of of places that we could potentially play. That'd be cool. For reciprocity. So, so of course that nobody has played. That's correct. Um, but here's what I got to say. Mitch is practicing way too fucking much. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's pissed. He's, he's like grinding on the range. I'm yeah. like, dude, I haven't seen a driving range. He's coming after you, dude. <laughs> Paying two twos and all. I, we I got to make sure dude, we get our two twos in I before ha we have I a match. Ha I'll ha I have them. You have, okay, yeah. get them. Uh, so I got to just go back to Mitch. Like the, the worst I played for a, 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 a round by myself, I went to the range at Hazeltine and I was in La La Land. Like, I don't know if it was just like the surroundings or what. Like I, that was the worst I've ever played. So it was, it was bad. But yeah, yeah Mitch, dude, you can't be practicing like that. Yes, you can. Like he's coming for you, dude. dude it doesn't matter. He's... I'm going to crack a white claw and he's upset. just beat him. No, he's upset. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, <laughs> I got my shit back together, so it's fine. Okay. Thank God. So I'll give you the list of the courses that I can play okay. and see if I can get a foursome out there. Okay. And then we need to put it on our page so that the listeners can vote on where they want us to play, where they want yeah. us to see us play. That's right. And let's try to find a day where the wind isn't blowing a million 70. miles an hour. Yeah. We all played pretty well, though. Or, I mean, we're going to play well. It's just the it's matter windy. of. Um, 
What else? Jesus, I feel like we're missing something. I don't think so. It's number 10, man. We're in double digits. I didn't, you know. Is it 11 or 10? We're at 10. Okay. We're at 10 episodes. Yeah, we didn't get a guest. Actually, 10 true episodes. Actually, we were going to have a guest yesterday, but Keith called in sick. Yep. We are going to have Avery Miller on. Yeah, Avery Miller's got to get on here, talk a little bit about her hockey career and yeah, her where golf she, that she, where she plans on going. Put, a, put on the shelf for a, for a little bit because of ho- so much hockey. Yeah. And, everything, and, I, everything I see you post is your... I saw that you never tell me when you're up in Blaine, dude. When was I up in Blaine? You were just at the big center. No, I wasn't. A couple, couple weeks ago. It's been a while. Really? Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, yeah, it was about a month. You just never let me know. Oh, sorry. So we'll um, try to get another guest. We'll try to get... Uh, Kev, Kev, we're gonna get Kev on. We we're gonna have to record a different day than Wednesday. It's either gonna be Tuesday or Thursday. Okay, then he can come. Tuesday on. will be good. So, and then reach uh, out to him. Then we'll go play after we have him on. We should go play with Kevin and maybe get a little match with him and a guy. Him and Scotty. Sure, rematch. That's a rematch. Or or him and that would be Tim. Was it Tim? Yeah, okay. Scotty's his other friend. Uh, it's a good guy. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna have to. F- yeah. I'm gonna have to figure out a if if Garrett can't play because of kid stuff. Like I'm gonna have to get. A- There's another match I want to do, and I want to call him out. Who the break eighty crew? Oh, I know we should. I want to. I don't know. We're gonna have to give them strokes though, because I don't think they do break eighty. They don't. No. So I saw them cruising around the course the other day, and I wanted to just be like, "Let's do it." Us four, Fuck you me. four. Let's go. Let's tag Let's them in the post. Go. Let's go. Where do they want to play? I don't know. They probably okay. want to play TPC. <clears throat> No, nope, we're that's not like their, That's like their spot. Oh, I don't want to play TGC. It's too far. <laughs> I had to drive <clears throat> to bumfuck Egypt. Um, yeah, break 80, match. let's go. I don't even know who they are. What are their names? I don't know what they're... Oh. I, I know the main guy. Kay. Nate, I think his name is. Okay. Um, um, so our match, we need the videographer. It sounds like Kurt would do it or said he would. Yeah, like I guess that, we can we can talk to talk him because we got to reach out to him and make sure that the first week of August works for him and and Carl. Yep. Um, and then uh, I am sending the email to the group. I think I did, but we need to find someone who's got a drone for the golf trip. I have Anyone? a drone and I have a couple drones, they, um, but I'll have to see if they'll let me use them. Are they any good? Can you fly them? Yeah, they're Mavericks. Do you know how to fly it? Yes. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I also have a buddy up in Princeton that he he does that. He did it. He does it for like um, water cross races. Got it. Where they skip, you know, and he yeah. skips snowmobiles. Um, and he's really good too. Yeah, but he's so. not going to play. Well, no, that's exactly right. So he could fly the drone for us. Yeah, but he's a good dude. Up at Giants Ridge. I mean, you give him a few brewskis, I think he'd do it. He wants to come party. I mean, sure. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Okay. I'll talk to him. Talk to him. If not, we need drones. Or at least one. All right. Because I think just for some fun each day recording, yeah. a couple tee shots, and then put it away. Put it on the cart. All right, my brother. We'll right, figure dude. it out from there. Yeah, let's go. Number 10. So break 80. Let's. We're calling your ass yeah, out. We got to play them. Yeah. Oh, you know what else? We got to get that four-man scramble on the board, too. Me, you, Mitch, and Garrett against those clowns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did they say anything more about it? No. No. I will chirp them, though. I, I at bet Southern they at Southern Hills. I bet they that won't. is like pitch and putt. I bet they won't take us on. No way, no chance. But you, dude, yeah, no. Oh, and get your grievances in. What? Get your grievances in for what? On these scrambles. Oh yeah, we didn't legit or shit, baby. No, nobody, nobody cares. Well, we didn't, we didn't post the. Oh, we didn't. We, I, I haven't posted the. Uh, like you got to put it. You got to put it in golfing Minnesota. Yes. And say, don't even put our podcast. Just put in. Do you have a grievance? Question mark. With a score posted by. Make a new page called Legit or Shit. Yeah, perfect. Post it on there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, Bye everybody. Bye. Yep, see you later. But I'm going to need a higher skill, man. Well, I'm going to need a higher skill, man.